Hey folks, how are you guys doing today? Good to see you guys. What is going on? It is Monday, April 6th. Let's take a look at the brand new mods. Who do we got in the room today? Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me. First thing in the morning. It's early today. We're in early actually, which is kind of funny. It's not usually like me to be going that early, is it? <laughs> uh, good to see you guys. Thank you guys for joining me. We've got nine new mods to look at. Oh, it's Farmer. How you doing, my friend? Good to see you, my friends. Um, we've got nine new mods to take a look at. Much updates as well, to be honest. And uh, something else that is kind of bad news i guess we'll look at the we'll look at all the new mods we'll look at the updates as well as we'll look at what's currently in testing that list is dwindling so fast this that list is getting decimated right now and uh, we'll take a look at that list as well and go through all the new stuff that is currently in testing as well as something else we'll talk about as well as we wrap things up today i hope you guys are having a fantastic monday i hope things are going well for you i got your coffee uh cheers to you fine folks i got my, my coffee ready to go here it is early for me it is what time is it 9 30 in the morning it is really early for me. I <laughs> just, just got in the house, to be honest. Uh, things are busy out here. 4.30 in Ireland. Wow. Early for you. It's late for you. <laughs> my comparison to me. Uh, my day is just getting started. Uh, oh, anyways, hope you guys have a good day. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. Washing your hands, keeping your, clean, your face clean, all that good stuff. Let's dive in. So we've got the SDL Group Pack. New tractor there. We've got the Do It's Far 7250. we got the Pottinger Top 8 uh, 382. Place of a water fountain. There's something that just disappeared off of this list when I refreshed it. This is hilarious. Um, it's off the list. We actually had one more mod on here that is gone since I refreshed this. That is crazy. We're going to talk about that. Um, we're missing a case tractor, guys. There was a case tractor on here first thing this morning that was released this morning. It's gone now. It is no longer on my list. You saw it on the, on the, the uh, thumbnail, the case 1255 and the 1455. It is all, I've got it in my game, but it's no longer on the mod list. I don't know what happened. I just refreshed this page 30 seconds ago before we went live. That's interesting. Um, anyways, this water fountain scrolling down. Switchback Canyon's out as well. So if you guys have Switchback Canyon, it is out now as well. Good to go. Uh, the, we got, uh, let's see here, down in PC land, we have Seeds Production. That's global companies, of course. The uh, Goodler Avant 56, also PC only. And then we have the Seasons Geo for Germany. Is that PC only? No, it's gotta be for owner. Okay, it's for everybody. There you go. So that's all the new mods. We're missing one. I don't believe that. That's crazy. They removed the case. That's surprising. Anyways, for updates, we got the Johnson's Modular Trailer Pack. We got uh, La Coronella, the case IH Optimum, the Machinery Shed, a large machinery shop, as well as Bale Storage Pack, Shelf Storage, the Bale Storage Barns, Bale Storage, or Bale Stacks, and the Small Sawmill. A lot of updates for these kind of global companies mods, guys. A lot of updates came out today for those. But now the most important thing I want to talk about is the fact that we're missing a tractor. Let's go, uh, we'll jump into game. We'll take a look and see what exactly is going on here. Boom. All right, all right, all right. So tractor that is currently missing off this list. I don't know why. This tractor right here, the 1255 XL, 1455, I believe it is as well. It is no longer on my list. I don't know what happened to it. It, it left the mod hub. Um, I am a little confused. Let's take a quick look at this door to see if there's anything that's be different on this one. Now, of course, we had this before. Let's see, uh, what's another small? Down at the end, boom. Gen 2, 1255, 1455. I don't know exactly why they would have pulled it, to be honest. Well, I'm sure we'll find something out later on, but she's been pulled. Uh, as far as this was available for all platforms when it came out, when it was on my list earlier, I don't know why it's not anymore. Anyways. Options are kind of standard for your case stuff. Uh, you got your black or your red. Now you do have the restored red as well, which is what we had in game. Older red restored. It's all fairly similar, guys. They're not going to be anything groundbreaking there. Uh, rim colors, gray on gray on gray. Yeah, not a lot of colors. Of course, you got the black, like the darker one. I always go with the darker ones for these cases. That looks, looks almost like a Knight Rider almost. <laughs> uh, your wheel brands, Trelleborg, Midas, Michelin's. Hellborg, Midas, Michelin's. There you go. Those, uh, those, those Midas look pretty good. Nice and big. Um, now, the Trelleborgs are the ones that have the most options, of course. You've got your tw your twins, kind of. The twins with the little the row crop twins, almost. Give you a little extra little bit. Uh, you also have weights, of course. Is there narrows on this? I don't think there's narrows. I don't think I could find narrows on the case. Yeah, no, there's no narrows on this one. If that serves me correct. Yeah, no narrows. You can't go with narrows on this if it does come out. Uh, front options, you've got weight carriers. You also have an option to have different weights or you have an option to have a front hydraulic hitch. Exhaust. Got a couple different options there. 
I'm not sure which one I like the best. I think I'd go with probably the chrome one, to be honest with you. Nice big straight pipe chrome. Uh, and then down at the bottom, we got some beacon options as well as, there you go, uh, your air filter intake. And this should have, there it is, the front loader attachment. So you have an option to go with the front loader, of course, with this tractor, which is kind of the, the big purpose for me. So that's a great option to have on it. And then lastly, you have your engine option. So the 1255, 1992 version, the 1455, 1992 version. I thought there was a 14. No, this is the different model. That's right. So you only have the two options. So the 1255 or the 1455. Uh, 145 horsepower or 125 horsepower respectively we're gonna look at 67,000 bucks pretty much all in was it max 69,000 ish um so relatively inexpensive small tractor but like i said guys this one has been pulled from the mod hub today um i'm gonna have to check in game after the stream and see if it's in there guys let me know in your in your uh on your mod hub if this has been pulled or not but it's not currently in mine this was out first thing this morning and she gown she gown for some reason anyways Let's move along. That's the case. Let's just jump inside, actually. Let's take a look. Looks good. I think this is the standard for the 1255 that I've been always been using. Sounds good as well. I like. I wonder why it got pulled. I'm so I'm I'm totally curious now. Hmm. Anyways, one of my favorite case uh, tractors, to be perfectly honest. I love this series of tractor, this older case style. It's fantastic. So, anyways. Let's move along. We'll go down the line. We have the uh, 7250. This is actually the Warrior as well. So this is the base model. There is one model above this. We'll look at that as well. Now, once again, you have quite a few options for it, but the coloring is not one of them, which is uh, kind of standard, I guess, lately. Up inside, we'll give you guys a look inside. Looks nice. Sweet. Looks good. Sounds decent. Cool. All right, let's go uh, pop on out of here. We'll take a look at the store at this one. I think this is large. Is it? No, it's medium, medium, medium. Boom. There we go. They do it seven series or series seven, as they call it. 185,000 bucks base, 246 horsepower base, which is actually quite a bit for a medium tractor. That is an actual quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of uh, horsepower for a medium sized tractor. So your engine size the 7250 or you can go up to the warrior which is uh 263 horsepower now another big thing with these you're stuck with the colors you either go with the lime green or you go with the black there's no options on that once you change them you're changing them that's all there is to it uh wheel brands the trelleborg michelins that's it now one thing another one with this no i don't think there's any narrows or anything like that you have wides you have weights as well no uh no duels either just wides or weights that's the only options you get regardless of which tight tire brands you go with so you're stuck with just wides or weights no different options there that is fairly straightforward design colors or designs i should say uh you have oh that's right the led front headlights now you, the ones we had in game those were the leds you can see they're leds right up here oh, my face is not in the way perfect standards or leds those are your two options and that is it so you know um there's no option to put a, a front mount uh, bucket or anything like that on it, a front loader, nothing like that. No weights or no duels, no narrows. Kind of uh, missing a couple of the options that some of the trackers in this, but you're getting a lot of horsepower though. So that kind of makes up for it in that sense. So 189,000 for the 7250. The Warrior, you're getting up to 213,000. Not a bad price still, uh, but anyways, I don't want to buy that. Let's back this on out. Cool. That is the Deutz. Let's move on down. We'll go to the last tractor. Uh, which is the SDL group. I don't know why they call it the group pack. Anyways, interesting looking tractor. We've had something similar to this. I don't know if this one... Do we have anything else from S SDL? I don't think we do. Guys in chat, let me know. I can't remember now if we have anything else from SDL that's in the mod hub off the top of my head. I know I've seen something similar to this before. Jump on in. Sounds a bit different for sure. I like that. Some lights on. Lights all work. Scroll around. I know we've got something similar to this in, in, in the mod hub. I'm trying to figure it off the top of my head. Looks good. All right. So a bit of a different tractor brand for sure. Something that's not quite as common. Uh, we'll jump over to this one. It'll be in, is it medium as well? I think this one's medium as well. Right at the end. Yeah, there we go. The Fortis, 138,000 bucks base, 166 horsepower. Once again, no color options. Like zero color options on this. Um, the only thing you can change are your rims. And with the rims... Well, you're just getting shades of gray like 50 shades of gray here folks that's all we're getting or this is the same that's what i thought okay yeah that's what I, I thought it was exactly all right so not a lot of options there for colors again folks 
but anyways it is what it is uh trailer board michelins uh once again for your tires you're off you're gonna get uh, some narrows in here i believe we have narrows or is it just duels there you, go. you get narrows kind of the standard ones and narrows that's it narrows standards and weights or wides i should say narrow standards and wides are your only tire options we don't have anything for my no nothing there uh front hydraulics with fenders or without your engine setup the 160 or the 190 you got the 210 as well and that's basically your horsepower as you can see there so 190 up all the way up to the 210 210 for 150,000. that doesn't do too bad it just looks like such a small tractor to me and then right down the very bottom you have a uh, front attacher option which that uh, Doitz was mi missing so that's a nice option to have of course if you want to put a bucket on the front of it there you go folks that is it that is all it just looks by comparison like if we put this side by side here these look, this thing looks so much smaller put this right here boom uh, maybe not maybe it's just an optical illusion maybe it's the coloring but it is definitely a little bit smaller anyways i digress uh let's keep on moving along down the line uh we have let's take a look at what do we want to look at the pottinger the top 382 it is simply the smallest wind rower ever that is what we got here guys let's see if i can hook this up let's put it back behind the uh the sdl the same here let's hook this thing on up let's put back her on up hook it on up it's <laughs> seriously the smallest wind rower ever um so we have one like this that comes in the base game now it is the 482 i believe now this is the 382 literally tiny <laughs> oh man so it does it works as you'd expect uh oops i didn't want to go into that one let's go to the, let's go to the store and take a look at it we'll bounce on over to our wind rowers so there's the four the 462 sorry is our small base game one uh like it's pretty small to begin with at 4.6 meters the new one it's even smaller 3.5 meters it's tiny it's just a little guy 35 horsepower you can pull this with a lawn tractor <laughs> well almost um it is just absolutely tiny so I'm not sure what you're going to use this for exactly yet for most farm stuff. Um, I don't know if I've ever done a farm that's been that small. And you're, it's 9000 bucks for the, even the 462 is 10000 bucks. So for 1000 bucks, you're getting an extra meter width. I think I would go with the other one to begin with. But anyways, that's just me. So it's a tiny guy. Zero options on this. Uh, 11 miles per hour, 9000 bucks. Like I said, pretty small. Pretty small. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Bounce on out of that. So that there is the uh, the Podger Top 382. Yeah, and the last mod for console as well. This is for console and for all uh, for all platforms. PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC is the water fountain. It's a placeable water fountain. Um, it's got stuff in it. You can load trailers. I tested it. It does load the trailer. Um, I pulled up actually on the back side here. Had no problem. I assume it has a, a hit point all the way around it. That is it. Nice little fountain looks kind of nice but uh very simple to use and it seems to fill up at a decent pace let's see here you know what we'll pull up the case beside it zero 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 back this on up hello dj goham what's going on man yeah we were just talking about that dj the case has been removed so anyway let's fill this on up see it fills up uh, relatively quick actually that's actually not a bad pace for that to fill up from a water fountain so it does fill up at a decent clip even considering you'd be filling with a bucket <laughs> i guess you could stick a hose back down there but uh, you would need to have some kind of a, a suction hose anyways there you go that's the jaw skin hooked up to our water fountain it does work but the case has been removed no idea why no idea why the, the case has been removed we'll have to figure that one out later on um last mod uh we need to start talking about or for pc the last two mods uh, one, well, it is this seed silo or the seed maker right here. Let's see if I can bring this menu up. Up here? Where is it? Where's my menu? I know I can bring it up here somewhere. No, oh, it's not going to come up for me. Let's go to global companies. So it's a global company mod. Seeds production. Can we go to it? Open review. Boom. So you're going to need to put in fertilizer um, or some kind of, and some kind of crop, and that's going to give you seed. So fertilizer and then some kind of uh, grain crop from barley canola oat corn sunflower wheat or soybeans and then you're going to give a seed out of it that's the two things you would need to put in um pretty straightforward tells you what you need to put in what you're going to get out and bob's your uncle so if you're into global companies there's a couple different seed production mods out there now this is just another one of those looks pretty nice uh what's our cost on that what is our cost 
10 bucks a day, 75 grand. Actually, it's not a bad price for that mod. Anyways, um, so there you go, folks. It looks good. I like all, I like all the digital displays on all these mods. That always makes me happy. And then lastly, for uh, PC, that would be our... Oh, what's the model number on this? I got the model number written down. The Gutler, that's right. Boom. The Gutler Avant 56. It is just a cultivator. Very straightforward cultivator. Just a little guy. Once again, front mount cultivator. Uh, you're going to find that, of course, in your cultivator section. This is PC only, of course. Down near the end. 6700, uh, 6700, actually zero options on it. You can't change anything on this thing. Nine mile, mile an hour. Once again, three meters only. It could be a ripoff DJ, but it is a little bit different than anything else I've seen on there um, as far as options go on the case. Anyways, that there is the Gutler Avant uh, 56, guys. Not a lot to talk about on that. So that's it for our new mods. We've talked about everything there. Like I said, the case has been removed. Not sure why, but uh, maybe we'll find out at some point. Who knows? Let's see. Let's bounce on out and uh, take a look and see what's going on in testing, shall we? We move this screen on over. Boom. 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 Sweet. So mods and testing. The list is hurting right now, to be honest, guys. There's not a ton of stuff going on there. I think about 21 mods and three only three of which are currently in testing for uh, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. And once again, everything you see up there that says PC, that can move down into console later on once uh, once it's done and, and passed through PC. It just, it's easier to, te to test for PC first off. So um, right off the shop, let's launch this here. Boom. So we have the automatic blinker stop. That'd be nice to have. I've been using all blinkers on a lot of my stuff. So we'll see. That'd be nice to have that one pop on up. Uh, and have that mod available. Uh, next up, we got the Bale storage pack. That update was released today. We got a cow statue. Sweet. Empty pallet production. We got the Fence 700 SCR as well as the Fence 700 Vario SCR. The John Deere V461M. That's a round baler. John Deere round baler. Got the Not Garante tank trailer. We got La, is it La Grangia or La Grangia? Is that, am I saying that right? La Grangia? I can never get that one right. I think it's La Grangia. I think you have to give it a little bit of a, a roll to the R, right? I think that's right. Uh, we got Salt, Alignment Salt Production. That is another uh, global company's mod coming out, guys. Massey Ferguson, 5700S. This is from uh, FS15, I believe, actually, this one right here. The old cattle trailer. Once again, this mod here this was originally i think fs13 might even be that far back i think this image is from farm sim 13 i think i pulled that one from there it's quite a long ways back um hello worm 2k19 other new mod map coming out uh poliski palette ridge marker extension as well as seasons geo for south saskatchewan we're still in testing on that i'm surprised that that one keeps on getting updated uh that's it's been a, a ways coming uh thangrina forest and then, of course, the Wolf System Shed, which you just saw right there. So that's it for uh, for PC. Moving down towards console, we've got the Dangerville SVL18. We've got the small BGA. And lastly, the Zunhammer TS10,000KE. That one's been in testing for the longest time as well, it seems like. Uh, currently, we're waiting at 180 mods. That mod list is getting huge again. It seems like we're just not having a ton, ton of mods come out in the last little bit. And that mod list keeps on uh, bouncing higher and higher and higher. We're up to six work days is our average wait time. So that's it for currently Monset. We can take a quick look at Switchback Canyon if you guys like, uh, since we have a couple minutes here. Let's take a look, quick look at. It. There's not much to look at. Uh, like it's it's a it's a forestry map, so it is kind of what you'd expect for a forestry map. You have one one location to start with. Um, there's not much to look at here, guys. Nice views, mind you, but a lot of forest. Let's uh, let's go up in the air a little bit here. So I am fairly close to the, the, the start point. I just put this down here. This is kind of one of the base locations on a mountaintop. Your start point is actually right down there. Oh, whoa, 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 let's fly on down. We'll take a quick look. Yeah, not a lot in testing for console right now, Thomas. It's uh, it's a pretty decimated list. So this is the large sawmill that you're starting off with. This is the, uh, the starting point. Uh, everything starts from right here. This is where you start from. This is where all your equipment's gonna start from. The rest, is all forest for the most part. There are some interesting roads that go everywhere. I mean, if you look off in the distance, you can kind of see the roads that go through all the uh, the hillsides here. Um, it looks good as far as if you're into logging, this looks like a pretty good map. It's just not my thing. So let's kind of warp over here and take a quick look as we climb up the mountains. But uh, one river that crosses through the middle of it, bring up the map here. Can I bring that up? 
there we go across there we go get across and like i said it's it's all switchbacks for its namesake so if we go up on this hillside you're gonna see there's all sorts of switchbacks as it climbs this road yeah it's uh it's a bit of a trek of course it looks like it'd be a good transportation uh for missions <laughs> uh yeah anyways just all switchbacks a lot of logging a lot of hills if you're into logging give it a shot there's a, quite a few spots to place I'll bring up the big map here so you guys can see it as you can see there's a couple different spots you can place your logging mills all over the map but only one main one down right in the middle and the rest are just logging roads that kind of go everywhere else on the map looks pretty sweet anyways that is it for i don't want to go too much in depth on this there's not that much to see here like i said it's just it's all logs guys if you were into logging you already know about this map let's be perfectly honest you can see all the switch back to the far side because it's not rendering the trees cool all right so last thing we need to talk about one last thing that uh that we do need to talk about and you may have heard this over the weekend is this gonna pop up for me or not there it goes creative mesh they are doing the straw harvest add-on pack you may have heard about this over the weekend it unfortunately has been delayed for console as well no good news for console today i'm sorry guys no good news whatsoever for console so if you were waiting on this um unfortunately there was an issue when it went to giants they noticed it was deleting some saves uh they weren't ready to release they were able to patch it for pc so tomorrow it is still coming out for pc however it is not coming out for console at least for a week or two so just be aware of that if you're on console and waiting for this tomorrow you're not going to see it it's not coming out tomorrow uh unfortunately so i'd rather them cut the patch now get it fixed and get it ready to go but it is unfortunate that for uh for pc or for console players we're not going to see that tomorrow so that is uh that is unfortunate folks so if you haven't checked it out go over to creative mesh's website creative mesh.com uh, i think it's creative mesh.com right yeah creative mesh.com uh you can check that out check out all the equipment that comes in the pack there's a couple youtubers also that are playing this right now you guys can check out any of their stuff but uh yeah it'll be coming out tomorrow for anyone on pc but will not be out for console until next week probably or the week after possibly so just be aware of that which is kind of unfortunate but at least they caught it now rather than having everyone's wreck their game saves or whatever else may have caused problems there i think there might have been one other problem caught but anyways that is about it hells don't work with seasons either that's correct illinois farmer knows what's up so that's it folks that is uh just be aware of that hopefully we'll be able to talk about this tomorrow since we are of course on pc but uh, on console players, you have to wait a bit. Sweet. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for uh, your Farm Sim show for today. Uh, that is the end of the new mods. Only three mods. Yeah, hopefully hopefully they get more tomorrow, Thomas. Hopefully they get to more, more tomorrow. Um, also, for all you folks that are watching right now, we put out a studio tour for our channel members yesterday. So if you guys are interested in seeing that stuff, we're doing more of a vlog style video with us here at the channel. Uh, you can become a member of the channel, support the channel, and uh, we'll give access to those videos. Just be aware of that and when am i streaming again we're gonna see if we can pull a stream off tonight it'll be either tonight or tomorrow night just follow the community page i'll put a link out there if we're streaming tonight anyways that is gonna do it for us today i hope you guys have a fantastic day stay safe out there go download some mods go play some farm sim isolate yourself uh wash your hands don't touch your face or wash your face and don't touch your hands i don't know anymore i'm so confused i don't even know what to do <laughs> stay safe out there folks and uh hopefully we'll see you tomorrow don't forget to subscribe hit that like button on the way out and have a safe and fantastic day, folks. Cheers.